Okay, this is the Game is On 100 here with my review video. And this review video is the Chicago Bears Indianapolis game. Uh, let's get started. Uh, the Chicago Bears defeated the Indianapolis Colts 41 to 21. Um, I expected um, uh, a little bit of a competitive competitive game at the first part it was a competitive game but the Bears just over blew the Indianapolis Colts today uh, basically from what I can tell from the first two possession of the Bears I think it was like pre jitters because on the first first snap Jay Culler got sat then they did uh, then they had a three and out and then on their second possession Jay Culler threw right to uh, they have Freeney for a pit sits touchdown and threw it right to him. I knew right then and then it was a little off key for the Bears to start off. Jay Cutler just threw it, threw it right to him. Forte wasn't paying attention, so they allowed for a pit sits. But the Nets possession of the Bears, the Bears were rolling. They scored on four straight times they had the ball. Um, it was all good to see. Jay Cutler struggled in the first first two possessions then after that he collected himself and he and he got better throughout the rest of the game he had a he had a solid game today except for the first part of the first two series for the Bears offense didn't look too good but otherwise uh, Jay Cutler today only got sat twice today that's not uh, too bad um, considering how the offensive line is being portrayed but anywho, on with the stats for the Chicago Bears. Jay Cutler was 21 of 35 for 333 yards, two touchdowns, and of course he had that pick. Uh, Forte had 60 rushes, 80 yards, one touchdown. Michael Bush, 12 carries, 42 yards, two touchdowns. Receiving. Brandon Marshall, good day. 19, nine catches, 119 yards, one touchdown. Alshon Jeffrey had a good game. He had that long bomb, a 42-yard touchdown pass from Cully was three, three catches for 80 yards in the touchdown. Earl Bennett had was three, three catches for 50. Matt Forte was three catches for 40. Devin Hess had a couple of catches for 27 yards, and Kyle Adams had one catch for 17 yards. Uh, Earl Bennett had two key uh, third-down conversions that was key in the game for. Um, for the Bears. Um, Robbie Gold is good as gold. He was perfect for extra points and field goals. And for the Indianapolis Colts, Andrew Luck was 23 of 45 for 309, one touchdown and three pits. For rushing wise, for Indy. Brown, 9 attempts for 48 yards in that one touchdown. Uh, Receiving-wise, Reggie Rain led uh, Indianapolis with 9 catches for 135 yards. That Fleener, 6 catches, 82 yards. Avery, 3 catches, 37 yards in that one touchdown. Uh, basically, the defense, defense looked pretty good today. Um, the defense only gave up 14 points today. That was a sight to see. Um, the Brian Erlacher and his knee. Um, we'll see how his knee is playing after this game. Um, he only played one half and maybe maybe a series maybe in the to the third quarter. But after when the Bears got that go ahead touchdown, they decided to pull uh, Brian Erlacher out of the game and uh, let him rest up and get ready for Green Bay coming up this coming Thursday. Um, the Bears got three sets today on on Andrew Lutt. That is good to see. Um, the Bears were plus three in the no plus four in the plus four in the turnovers today. Um, Tim Jennings had a pick. Conti had a pick. Of course, there was a forced fumble. So basically, otherwise, it was a good game plan by the Bears from the 
from the balance, from uh, from passing and rushing. It was pretty much the same, pretty much pretty even. So it was a good play calling by Mike Tice for his first game. He kept it pretty much balanced. He had a few more throws in there, but otherwise the Bears do what they normally do when they have uh, a balance between running and passing. They usually would win the game, especially if they were run the ball a lot, and they did run the ball a lot. So I am happy with that. Yeah, it was four to one. My bad. It wasn't five in five turnovers. It was four turnovers to the Bears, and Indy had one turnover. But uh, that turnover, that pit sits color just do color just probably got rid of the ball. He's saying, "Oh well, it's only a seven nothing lead. I just need to calm down, calm down myself, calm down my offensive line." And that's what he did. Jay Cutler had great poise today. I'm very thrilled with uh. With Jay Culler, how he did today, no doubt about that. But otherwise, this is a good win for the Bears. I figured we were going to win by 14 points, but we won by 20 today. Um, if the Bears is going to be keeping this up, the Bears is going to be a pretty much now could keep up with the the, the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers for offensive wise, because the Bears has got some good offensive components. So. So it's looking good for the Bears. Um, overall, I am very thrilled for this win. We needed this win. Um, Erlacher said he was going to play. Erlacher didn't less, lose a step whatsoever. I'm very thrilled that he came out and played today, even though he played in the half. But but with the, when you have a 20-point lead, why keep Erlacher out there? Did you want to let him rest up? And let him get ready for the, because he's going to be playing a lot of snaps in the Green Bay game. So, so overall a good win. Very thrilled how the Bears were, uh, as they continue throughout the game. The first two series didn't look too good, but Jay Cutler was poised after that. He was collected. He didn't let it get to him. He came back and he had a pretty decent game. That's what you can expect. Well, anywho, um, I will be posting my preview video for the Bears-Green Bay game on probably in a couple days, so you guys can be expecting that. Anyway, this is the Game is On 100. I am out. Later.